Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. You are one of the most sensitive sun signs in the zodiac. When you have a crush on someone, you tend to be very shy with them. You oftentimes give out signals that the other person does not understand. It confuses them. And why? Because you really hate being vulnerable. Scorpio, let's take a look at the overall energy of your reading. Yang energy is the theme that is the number one but what i'm looking at when i see the reading is that there may be a little bit too much focus on individuality and maybe not quite enough and i'll explain it's actually quite a good reading so let's take a look and see what your destiny cards are here we have love you are destined to be in love we have beautiful koi fish of abundance for feng shui courage you know having a warrior spirit being willing to fight for it and fighting for it means your own demons as much as it means having an argument with anybody we have to look at you know when you have what is it they say if you're pointing your finger you know three fingers are pointing back at you so part of the beauty of the tarot is it helps us look at what we bring to the table and how we can do it better so celebrations you may find the courage to walk up to somebody at a celebration um, a lot of times i really tell people go to every wedding that you are invited to because it's a wonderful place to meet somebody and that is what i'm seeing because everybody's invested in the bride and groom you have something in common destiny look at that destiny could be a faded meeting but paradise wow that is really gorgeous now let's look at the energies here i'm getting that in the recent past you know there's this feeling that there's a lot of strife like and both of you feel as though you're, how do I say this? It's almost like tit for tat. You know, it's like when you have a friend who always wants to say what the opposing side of an argument is. And it's so annoying. And, you know, these are ego-driven battles. And what it really says with the Nine of Wands reversed is that both of you have reached a point in your life recently where you're just tired, you know, and you feel as though, you know, nobody understands me. I'm really tired of fighting. I'm worn out. I don't have much of that left in me. And yet the battle rages on. And some of this battle is against yourself and your, your other, you know, your quote unquote other half in this battle is also working against their best interest. Okay. So it really speaks to the fact that if you're not dating exclusively, uh, that looks like it could really be a core issue in trying to move this forward because the current energy is this, you know, King of Wands reversed. And, you know, we, when we get the King of Wands reversed, we get a lot of, you know, just really unachievable expectations. Uh, the King of Wands reversed is very hasty, very impulsive, and really can be quite overbearing. And then when we look at the card clarifying it, we have Temperance reversed. Temperance in the upright is an angel. You know, when we get Temperance in the reversed, it's a fallen angel. It really means that neither of you are bringing and because this is mutual energy, neither of you are bringing anything very helpful to the relationship. You know, you're both kind of caught up in your ego. You both want to be heard. Neither one of you are listening to the other. And, you know, that really obviously isn't going to really be helpful. So, you know, again, the tarot is not to throw runes or throw cards and, you know, look at destiny. The tarot is an energetic you know, problem solver. And so if it doesn't resonate with you, it isn't your reading or just ignore that card because it's a buffet table of, of energies for each one in a general reading. Okay, now look at this. This is now we're looking at something really beautiful here. Your person is viewing the situation. They want to manifest you. Now we're getting on the right track. This person wants to be enlightened. There's a little butterfly here. Scorpio, they're thinking of you. The butterfly is you. It's transformation. 
and this is the alchemist energy your person has it your person has great clarity now in understanding what the undercurrents of this relationship are creating and they understand that they want to change the energy so when we look at how they view the situation uh, and we go down to the next set of cards that say, you know, what is it, how, what they think can happen here, how they view this unfolding. If it unfolds, the, the two of you would be exceedingly happy together. Everybody's tired. It looks like, you know, most of you are drained because you're working hard. Nobody has as much patience. I don't think we've been through a, a really tough year. But your person really sees you as their happily ever after. And because of that, they're really able to look at this in a more detached light. Your person definitely feels that this energy is problematic. So what I see is they're actually removing... You know, they're removing their negativity or part of this, you know, in this yang kind of energy. So they want to remove their part of the battle that seems to be going on here with this wand energy because it's wand energy. Scorpio, they view you as a person who needs to have a strong foundation. They feel as though you are not invested Fully in this situation because your fear is is that they're juggling more than one lover your person is very detached in their heart space they're not going to let you go this person has now gone into the bunker and and is asking the question of spirit how do i make this better <laughs> i want my scorpio we see this person calm cool and collected and if you look down and follow this line this person sees that you're not going to put up with any juggling and you know what that's okay with them because this is you scorpio and in the upright they would release you in the reverse they are not letting go of you which i believe is probably very frustrating for you because right now it appears anyway that you're in this sort of stuck energy you know like not you know everybody's sort of up in arms you're both aggravated with each other you both feel you know it's a blame game kind of that's been going on but your person is coming in here with a very analytical nature of this king of swords aquarian energy and guess what we have not had this many planets in aquarius since 1962 so it's very Aquarian. It's the Aquarius age, the age of Aquarius that we saw all those years ago. I was alive. Many of you weren't. But at any rate, we see your person. Look at Pisces energy. They are bringing Pisces energy. They want that beautiful spiritual union with you. And they don't know quite what to do yet. But they definitely want to succeed and put this eight of coins in the upright. What I see here is that this person doesn't feel as though they know you well enough um, to really know quite what to do. What's hidden between the two of you is you want the same thing. Now we have absolutely something to celebrate about. You know, we really have this energy that the two of you are destined to be together, that you have courage, you know, that you want to love one another very deeply because this, my friends, is a celebration at a wedding. This is, you know, the, the after party, if you will. The tent over here is where the, the dinner has gone on. All the beautiful speeches were given. Everybody's dancing. All your friends are having fun. The bridesmaids have changed their clothes. But that is a wedding card. And the Rider Waite, it's four pillars, you know, four wands with a garland of flowers at the top. And the bride and groom are dancing, you know, underneath. And it's about stability. It's about making a commitment. It's about buying homes together, sharing homes together, a home, many homes, whatever it is that you have, you know, sharing space. Um, and we see that neither of you want to be indecisive. Your person does think that you are indecisive, but actually both of you have been indecisive. You both want stability and you have both sabotaged 
the effort so far that has gone into this relationship. Now, Spirit is saying, <laughs> Spirit is giving very good advice because Spirit is telling you, Scorpio, that you should have remorse and regret over things that you've done in this relationship. Holding back, being fearful is not going to help you get to paradise. You need courage. You are being called upon Scorpio to have courage. You know, every we get so ego-driven and ego-driven that we think that if a relationship doesn't come together, that it is a failure. And that is not true. Think about all the people that you may have loved when you were young, you know, whatever age you are, and think about if you had had the courage to marry this person, what a disaster it could have been. So Spirit is just saying, have the courage for the exploration. Have the courage to find out the truth. Have the courage to allow yourself to fall in love if it's going to be paradise, but use your intellect. For heaven's sakes, do not disengage your intellect. You know, look at the situation in a strategic manner. You have clarity. The outcome of the reading is beautiful. You have clarity. The Ace of Swords. This is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. It is seeing the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Accepting nothing less than the truth. The Sun card is here. The happiest card in the deck. Throwing caution to the winds. Aquarius energy, Leo energy. We are looking at the full moon in Leo that happened yesterday at 2.16 Eastern Time in the United States. You have a new beginning of love and at love right now. But what we're seeing here is a beautiful interpretation of the cards. Well, not... I'm not trying to give myself ego strokes. A beautiful vision or a beautiful overview of the things that are undermining your relationship because the tarot is much more about the toolkit of what you can do to make your love life better. It's a wonderful toolkit. So let's see what the Moonology deck has for you in terms of the outcome what you should look at but i love this energetically this is a beautiful relationship that has just keeps stalling out you know and you're getting tired and it's understandable you and your loved ones are safe new moon and cancer so that is the energy you're both safe you're both very capable of letting go of your egos and you're both very capable of doing this. You both want it. And if you pursue this in the correct way, you know, by taking the advice that the tarot is presenting, you may well indeed have this beautiful outcome for yourself. Sending you love from Chicago. If you want to win a free reading with me, check the description box below. The contest rules allow you to enter two different ways. It says that you can subscribe, hit the all notification bell, thumbs up on the video, make a comment, and then if you don't want to do that, you can send an email, and but you need to do it the way the description box tells you to so that I can find you easily in my email for the contest. Announcements are going to be made the 1st of February, a couple of days away, guys. Take care. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Tell me something about what you think of all of this. Bye-bye.